Okay, after you open SketchUp, you need to choose a template. So make sure you choose a template that definitely has to be millimeters. I always choose the woodworking one, it's the easiest. Just please make sure it says millimeters. And we're going to have a go at drawing uh, a simple version of the pencil box you're making. And maybe we can print it out later through the printer. Then simply click. All right, here's SketchUp. Uh, we're going to start by using the rectangles uh, to draw our shape. But one thing I want to point out to you is down in this bottom right corner, this measurements box. Uh, whenever I tell you measurements, or whenever you work on measurements, you type in sizes, they will appear here. You don't have to click down there, uh, they just appear there. So keep an eye on uh, mine on this video and then watch yours down there as well. There's a few times you have to check down there. Anyway, start with the rectangle up here. Uh, if you don't see it there, use the down arrow and it'll be there in the list. So click the rectangle and we'll simply start at the origin. Click once and move it out. Don't click again, but we are simply going to type the size. So we're going to type 215, comma, 12. You can see that down in the bottom corner. And then I just press, press enter and it makes that rectangle that size. I have to zoom in a bit. And there it is there. And we're going to use the push pull tool now to make it a solid shape. So that's this tool here. And notice it'll highlight, uh, it'll highlight that area. So simply click once, move the cursor up. Don't click again, but we're going to type 70 and press enter. Okay, now rectangle tool again. This time we're going to draw a small rectangle from this corner down to this edge. So we're going to click once to start, come down to this edge. Now have a look down in the dimension box. You can see the first dimension is 70, then it's got the other one with the squiggly line in front. We need to get that to 12. So you might be able to move the cursor there, but the easiest thing to do is simply type 70, 12. Press enter and it made it that size. We'll do the same here. So we click once in the corner, move down to this bottom edge, and we need to make it 70, 12. Press enter. There it is. Two rectangles drawn now. Now we're going to get back to the push pull tool, this one here, and make sure you highlight uh, this little rectangle that we just drew. Click once and move it in in that direction. Don't move it out, move it in, and then type 5 and press enter. I just made it that size. Let's do the same over here. 5 and press enter. And that's pretty much what uh, one of the sides of our pencil box will look like. We're going to go back to the select tool. That's this arrow up here. Click. And we want to select this. And the way you select it is by triple clicking. One, two, three. And selects all of it. Then you're going to make it a component by right click. Make component. And then click create. You can tell it's a component because you can see a box around the whole shape. Now we're going to use the move tool. We're going to make a copy of this and because we need two sides, the move tool will do that. So click anywhere on this shape, click once, and let's move our cursor somewhere else. Now press Control once on the keyboard, that creates a copy. Let's just move this out in this direction and click, and that places it there. Let's go back to the select tool and select this one. We need to spin this around so it's facing the right way, so the move tool will do that as well. So click on the move tool, then you see these little red handles that appear. 
choose one of them, it doesn't really matter which one, and click once, and move your cursor, move your mouse, we need to spin that 180 degrees, or in this case it's going to go back to 0 degrees. So if you can't get it to either be exactly at 0 or exactly at 180, type those numbers in. And I'm happy there. Down the bottom right corner it says 0, and click once, and that's placed there. Now we need to draw our end pieces. Back to the rectangle tool, and we'll start over here. Click once, we're going to go in this direction this time, and we do our smaller size first this time, so we're going to go 12, comma, 80, and press enter, push-pull tool, move it up, and then type 70, and press enter. We've just made that the correct size. Let's go back to the select tool and triple click. Then we make it a component by right clicking. Yes, the make component. And then we click create. We need to make a copy, so remember the move tool does that. Move tool. Click once on the shape somewhere, not one of the handles. Click once on the shape. And click one. I'll press once on the control button on the keyboard, and then we'll just place this over here for now. And by clicking, click once, and it's placed there. Now, this is the tricky bit. We want this corner of this shape to sit right in this corner. So we're going to move it there. So we're going to use the move tool. This is the one that's selected because it's blue, and we want this corner. So move our cursor there, wait for that. We need to make sure it's that little purple circle or pink circle. And click once. Now it'll follow our cursor around until we click again. Let's move it right into that corner. Make sure it snaps into that corner, not something like that or you know, like that. Make sure it sits there and then click again. And that's sitting in the correct spot. Let's do the same for this one. Back to the select tool, click once to select it, move tool, this corner, make sure we get that little purple or pink circle, click once, let's move it into place here, make sure it snaps right into that corner where it needs to go, and then click again. Change my view a bit. So the way I'm doing that is holding down shift on the keyboard and middle mouse button and I can slide it anywhere I want. Without shift press, just the middle button on its own, I can orbit all around. So move tool, but I've got to select that shape first. So let's go back to the select, select that shape, move tool. This time, this corner of the rebate needs to sit right in that corner. So, make sure that you select that corner. Click once, and let's move it over. And yes, it wants to snap right there. That's exactly what I want. And click, and it's in place. If you make a mistake, remember, there's the edit, undo. And I can always do that. Or Control Z will do the same thing. Click once and place it there. That's good. I'm going to go back to the select tool and simply click in the space around it. There's our four sides of our pencil box. Okay, using the middle button I can rotate my view so I'm I have to do that twice. So I'm looking underneath it. We just need to draw a base on. And it's pretty straightforward. Use a rectangle tool again. And we start in this corner and I'm going to end over here. So click once to start, click a second time to end. Push pull tool, and we need to move down in this direction, but it only needs to go three millimeters. So type three, press enter. That's it. Select tool, and let's make that one a component by triple clicking. It's all selected. Right click, make component, and create. 
Okay, let's get that view back. This way, there's a base and a very simple box. What we can do now is go ahead and add some colors with the paint bucket. So I've clicked on the paint bucket. It should get a dialogue over here somewhere. I can choose all different types of colors and uh, surfaces. You know, look, there's wood there. So I could choose one of those and let's have a wooden base. I could, if I want, choose metal. Let's have aluminium sides and maybe some patterns. patterns. Could look interesting. Ooh, that looks bad. Uh, that's not good. Okay, let's. Uh, a bit of grass. Yeah, let's have some grass for these end pieces. There we go. Uh, then I'll get you to save that by up here. File, save, save your, um, save your object. And then if you get time, you can design your own lid. Uh, we should be able to 3D print these. So if you save it somewhere on your computer, I can access it later and. We could probably 3D print these little boxes. Okay, that's it.